Yeah. No, it does. Right, thank you. Resolution to override the tax levy limit. <coughs> um, resolution of the Village of uh, Washingtonville Village Board of Trustees adopting local law number one of 2020, overriding the tax levy limit established in General Municipal Law 3 C within the Village of Washingtonville. Whereas the Board of Trustees of the Village of Washingtonville wishes to adopt a local law to override the limit on the amount of real property taxes that may be levied by the Village of Washingtonville, County of Orange, pursuant to General Municipal Law Section 3-C, and to allow the Village of Washingtonville, County of Orange, to adopt a 2020-2021 Village budget for A, Village purposes, B, Fire Protection districts, and C, any other special or improved district governed by the Village Board for the fiscal year 2020-2021 that requires a real property tax levy in excess of the tax levy limit as defined by General Municipal Law Section 3-C. And whereas a public hearing was held on January 21, 2020 at 7 p.m. to assist the Village's consideration of the adoption of the said local law and the public hearing was closed on January 21, 2020. Whereas the Board of Trustees has considered the matters that were discussed at the public hearings, now therefore it be it hereby resolved that the Board of Trustees of the Village of Washingtonville hereby adopts said local law number one of 2020, of year 2020, entitled a local law to override the tax levy limit established in general municipal law 3-C within the village of Washingtonville with the respect to the 2020-2021 village budget, a copy of which is attached hereto and made part of this resolution and be it further resolved that the village clerk uh, be and she hereby is directed to enter said local law in the minutes of this meeting and in the local law book of the Village of Washingtonville, and to give due notice of the adoption of the said local law to the Secretary of State of New uh, Secretary of State of New York. Um, some comments on this. Um, in talking with with Will Frank, uh, it's just something to have in the back of our, uh, in our pocket. I don't really think we need to we need to adopt it, but I don't see us going over there. So I'll make a, I would make a motion to uh, I make a motion with the uh, correction of local law number one of two thousand twenty. Yeah, yeah, two thousand nineteen. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. Yeah. Second. 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 Roll call, Trustee Colon? Yes. Trustee Sampson? Yes. Deputy May Wang? Yes. Trustee Lodato? Yes. So, local law one of 2020, um, overriding the tax levy limit. Oh. Let's hear by the <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Well, okay. Really? Yeah. 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 It's continued. Yeah. 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 We have to open up a public hearing. Can I get the actual public hearing? You know you have passed the meeting, so you have to open it. So, someone want to make a motion to open up a public hearing regarding the Village of Washington Bill? Make the motion. That will be Trustee Kaloa? Yes. Trustee Sampson? Yes. Deputy Mayor Lang? Yes. Trustee Lee? Uh, yes. Madonna? Okay. 
This is uh, meeting number four in this budget presentation. However, it's the first uh, meeting for the public hearing. Today is January 21. This is a hearing that will remain open um, until next week. I have to post this on the website. So if you have any comments, uh, we welcome them. Welcome your concerns or any issues that you might have. Uh, and if you don't have a budget in front of you, please, we have um, budgets on the table in front of us. There's a large packet for the A fund, which is the general fund. And we also have water and sewer, which are um, separate from the A fund. Okay, the multi-fund, uh, pretty much, am I better left standing right or sitting here? Is the village hall, municipal services, shared services, special items, law enforcement, public safety, code enforcement, highway streets and parks, youth recreation program, culture, zoning and planning, sanitation, community environment, the employee benefits as well as our debt service. The village hall portion of the uh, budget is the trustees, the mayor, the court, the village clerk, clerical, and justices. And the personnel, uh, Christine Shankman is the village clerk slash treasurer, Tricia Nunes is the court clerk, Linda Homer, Donna Foley, Sophia Foley, Joan Oram, our part-time clerical, Steve Smith, Joseph McKay, our village justice, myself, Joseph Bucco as mayor, Paul Lang, deputy mayor, Richard Kalor, trustee, Valerie Lodato, trustee, Larissa Sampson, trustee. Move over to our police department, uh, Police Chief Zaccaro. Uh, we have three sergeants, Kenneth Lopez, Francis Cerigliano, Christopher Martin, our detectives are Jeffrey Anderson, Thomas Santiswaso. Patrol, we have Joshua Tremper, Benjamin Gerstner, Joseph Mendez, Charles Mitchell, Aaron Cadrado, Edwin Ramos, Michael Orfici, James Drury, and we have two part-timers, Vincent Beal, as well as Jose Santiago. Uh, we have school resource officers. Charles Martin is our full-time officer, James Cronin, part-time, Scott Davey, part-time officer, William <coughs> Wilson, part-time, and Robert Camerata, part-time. Department of Public Works, we have Superintendent Chris Martino, Carl Burke, Nicholas, uh, Nick Muller, Chris Ray Riper, Mark Lanchette, Billy Pence, Horace Mann, Al Mann, and Larry uh, Vasquez. Sure, I mispronounced that, and I apologize. A multi-fund summary, which you have in your packet, uh, the green represents 2020-2021, uh, 6.5 million, uh, 6 million 597,000 and $90.36. Uh, up from last year, a 6 million, 11,000,767. The Village Hall, which again includes the trustees, mayor, court, uh, court clerk, village clerk, clerical and justices. We have, uh, we could also flip through the pages that you have in front of you. We have an increase over the total amount uh, a change of $9,215.49, percentage change of 4%. We have an unencumbered balance right now that changes day to day of $65,682.61. Municipal services, which includes our attorney services, our website, our election, and our legal notices. We have a change of uh, equaling $14,446, a change percent of 26%. Um, 
we have an unencumbered balance as it stands right now of $35,784.42. As you can see, the change of, of dollars. Our shared services, which include office supplies, telephone, payroll services, fuel, memberships and conferences, buildings maintenance, insurance, IT services, as well as utilities. We have a um, proposed number of $377,437, a change from last year of $74,299. We have unencumbered balance of $18,211, as it stands right now in this budget, and we have an increase of 25%. The special items, contingent payroll, contingent personnel expense, general government, um, which includes the MTA tax, which is based on our total payroll. Um, we pay .0039 as it stands right now. Is that number going to change? I don't know if that's going to change. But as you see, uh, we have a 23% increase. We have a $158,000 line item for this year, up 17% from last year. We have an unencumbered balance of $120,141. Our law enforcement, salaries, dispatching, equipment, operations, school crossing guards, the school SRO program, and the utilities. On the second page, this is a two-page two um, list, we have a, a change of $136,221, uh, and it's reading a 6% increase over last year, a total budget of $2,346,211. We have unencumbered balance in the law enforcement of $586,670. Public safety. Public safety involves parking division equipment, parking division um, spec specifications, department supplies, parking division, and other signs. This is something that we wanted to really start two years ago by putting a parking system uh, in the where the old village hall used to be across the street from Benny's to generate some income. You see here, nothing has changed. Uh, we still have $11,500 um, uh, budgeted. We did have an expense of $1,014. Uh, $1, uh, so we have an un unencumbered balance this year of $10,164. Sanitation. That's a storm sewers, uh, ALF walls, as per the DEC, the DEC consent order, and MS4 regulations. Last year, we, we had it budgeted for $21,355. This year, we need to increase it to $30,000. Um, we scored, I guess, a lot of points with the DEC this year. We replaced uh, or corrected well over 100 catch basins and manholes on Decker prior to, to paving Decker, Smith Court, and um, Hayes. We look to expand this to really do what the DEC wants us to do so we can have the consent order removed from us. Code enforcement, building inspectors, village code enforcement, fire inspectors. 
Last year we were entered into an agreement with um, Town of Blooming Grove, intermunicipal agreement. Uh, we had budgeted $40,900. This year we have two inspectors, two code enforcers, and two fire inspect inspectors that will concentrate solely on the village of Washingtonville. In doing that, our increase in this line item has increased. Um, there's always a building inspector here throughout the day, five days a week. We have a lot, a lot of building proposed for this coming year. Highway streets. The salaries, equipment, operations. Last year we had budgeted $700,666. This year, $789,250. Uh, you see here we have an increase of $88,584, 13% uh, increase. 